Kyle here from allmeterviews.blogspot.com. Uh, talk about some things. I just want to do uh, maybe more in a detail, slightly detailed review of the Cloud Cult album Metamorphosis, which came out last Friday, March 4th, 2022. Um, I was going to try to find my copy of The Seeker, their last record on vinyl. And circumstances are what it is. I can't find it right now. Um, I don't have time to look for it. Um, but... So, and I, as far as an update goes, of course, I read that whole thing about, through that email, they said the vinyl may be coming for Metamorphosis, um, but we don't, again, I don't know, we don't know when it's going to happen, if, if and when it does in fact happen, but, um, I, uh, I'm still waiting my Marillion an hour before it's dark, both the compact disc and the seed. The compact disc I ordered from the actual from your music Town, Townsend music whatever I'm surprised it hasn't arrived vinyl I can understand but the vinyl I ordered from Amazon that's not expected till like the 14th so probably next week but um, the other thing I could mention again it's supposed to be a review of Metamorphosis of course but is um, it's pretty scary eight, eight years or whatever ago that I started making videos and stuff like that to learn how to do like voiceover stuff but I hopefully will it's still going to take require some time and editing work but kind of getting a little bit of an idea of how to do what I've meant to do and I remember I talked about a few weeks ago over the past few months actually songs of the year which maybe I'll just do albums of the year and then songs later I don't know it's sort of like this taste like music channel um their listography they've done just I'm doing myself but it will allow me to kind of do slideshows with a narrative. Um, the trick is going to be for me to figure out when you have the each image showing up, <laughs> how, um, how slow it should be, you know, cause you know, if you talk for 30 seconds or a minute or a minute and a half or two minutes about one record, you're already gone through a slideshow of five more records. So, um, it's kind of in the back of my mind. I mean, hopefully I can figure out like a standard way to do it. So, um, and I may do some sort of babbling, the babbling and some, you know, ad lib talk in the process if I add too much time. So anyway, as far as metamorphosis goes, um, as I mentioned on Friday when I've, I'd heard it for a few days through their, um, uh, website and then got the download, um, it, my initial reaction was it was more acoustic, more, a little more stripped down, and I stand by that. I also stand by that that comment I made like a week ago about how even if the songs, like the songs that are on it, are probably just a fraction or a percentage of the songs that they've um, given or, or had the people that contribute to Patreon, um, Cloud Cult, uh, a fraction of them. Uh, that, that total, because I think their Patreon they've had, uh, they've had up for at least, it's probably been three years or more, at least two, but maybe three or four, more, four years, so, um, but I really, it's really grown on me since that initial impression, and I'm still kind of getting a feel for it, but for the most part, I, I know how I feel about it, and I would say the biggest thing about it is it is more stripped down, but each song has something to reveal. Most, I guess I'd say each song. I'd say at least the songs in the second half, if you want to call it the second half. Starting from One Way Out of a Hole, the sort of, the biggest sort of token single, it was the single, video, uh, earworm track on here. It's more classic cloud cult if there is such a thing. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, from that track going through, so the, the Firefly and the Snake, Lady of the Hill, the 8th track, Victor, the ninth track, Ascension, uh, eleven, the 10th track, 11 track, Song from Oblivion to Bigger Than Me, number 12. While a lot of those songs kind of, you know, start out slow or have a thing where Craig Minowa is kind of singing a little bit, I wouldn't call it cheesy, but a little bit, it's like, oh yeah, he's doing like a like a Norwegian Scandinavian, not Norwegian, but a Scandinavian accent, um, which which some people are known for in this part of the the world and the country. Um, I don't particularly love the way they use it in Fargo and um, the the stereotype. You betcha, oh yeah, you betcha, okie doke. Um, 
That song and then um, the way he uses baby in baby from song from oblivion. While those that sort of bugs me initially, it kind of fits with the way this where the song goes, and it sort of I mean it does work and it it goes with the the arrangement of how the and the motifs or the melody of those pieces, both those tracks. Um, and I mean the thing is, I'll say the, those last what is it one two three four five. The last seven songs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Even taking one way out of a hole out of this equation, the last six tracks, I guess, from seven to twelve, other than the one instrumental, which is Ascension, which I love, I, that's one of my favorite parts of this record. But um, those last six or last five of those songs, every one of them has like an orchestral build up, some other instrumental part that comes in, um, a layered vocal part a little bit an energetic part, you know, um, which makes, which allows the song, it sort of saves the song from just being like the first half being somewhat stripped down. Now to talk about the first, what is it? The first half, a strange world, know that I love you through, uh, what would you do? Those first five songs. I mean, they're, I guess you could say in some way, musically, they're kind of a blur, they don't vary dramatically. I'm sure over some time I might kind of distinguish them. Lyrically, they they are different in a sense, but they sort of fit fit or fill kind of a similar um, message or kind of idea of what what Craig was and the band were writing about. Um, when you reach the end, I mean, it's the title of the album is Metamorphosis. Is that the idea of we're going to ascend somewhere to another plane, sort of like? Um, astral projection or reincarnation or the understanding of what we are in the grand scheme of time and space and history and on our planet. I know Craig Minowa is, is as he's gotten older, especially with, with this record, some of the other records, their whole experience was obviously with their child, Caden, years ago and the whole like approach to the band, in, you know, involving that sort of experience. Uh, he's become very... Um, Spiritual isn't necessarily the best, the only thing, the way to describe it. He's, is he into metaphysics, maybe? Or in a sense, he might have be into that, you know, people like Deepak Chopra, you know, um, understanding our place in sort of the environment. They're very environmentally conscious. So in the environment, on Earth, how matter, life, energy, how that all relates to everything. And this is still related. Um, although it's a message about someone who might be saying goodbye to someone at points. Well, these three or four songs at the beginning, it's like, um, what would you do? Back into my arms. You're saying goodbye to someone. Someone's either going to die, go on to somewhere, or just leaving town. I mean, it's ambiguous. Like, a lot of musicians and a lot of music has lyrics that can be interpreted in multiple ways. But I kind of get that kind of approach. Like, they're sending their kid off to college, or they're saying goodbye to one of their elder relatives or friends, maybe. Something like that. Um, why am I holding this up? This is not the album. Um, but, and I think the second half, the, the, my, my preferred part of the record, I suppose, um, it's more of sort of how that's happening. Um, Song from Oblivion sounds kind of like a downer, kind of bleak in a way, saying the word Oblivion, but, um, then you go to Bigger Than Me, you end the record with, it's more upbeat, um, even though you're saying, I don't know that, I don't know nothing, but... <laughs> Um, it, it, it's, it's very observational and very much relatable in a lot of ways. Victor, I don't know if it's about someone's father, Craig Minowa's father, something like that. Um, they mentioned a Buick and getting safe, getting home safe, getting there safe, something like that. Lady of the Hill, um, you know, Lady of the Hill, again, I mean, I don't read that much. Like, lyrics are always secondary to me, but sometimes lyrics never really impact my feeling about a record. They can, more often positively, but sometimes negatively. Um, and this record is more stripped down, so the lyrics are, and the, the vocal parts, but more so even the lyrics, kind of seem to be up front more, but it's very, I mean, it's, it's a, is it a reaction to the last two years being, in, you know, dealing with a pandemic? I, I guess to a extent, to an extent, although I do wonder a lot of this music could have been written before that, because this album came out in 2016, they did the one soundtrack, and it was like 2018 or something, so, um... 
I, I think maybe part of that, but it's not like as compared to I mean, Arbor Ford Stark from Marillion, it's not as much of a sort of kind of capturing the 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 darkness or the depression or uh, the struggles of COVID necessarily of the pandemic. Although it's maybe in some ways coming to grips with your existence, with your mortality, especially. Which a lot of the records, you could say the same thing. Um, but um, it's still up there. It's definitely maybe in some ways more lyrical than some of their others in that sense. Um, you know, we're, we're here on this earth for now. We're going somewhere else, you know. Because um, I know at one point it talks about... Was it carbon? I can't remember. I have. I was trying to read through those, some of the lyrics that they're on the actual download. Although I can't listen to music that way because I want to know the track list while I'm listening to the records. So, but yeah, I mean, I I would say this, and it's not really spoiling a lot because we're only whatever two months into the year, and I can count approximately a dozen, ten to a dozen records that I've checked out to varying degrees, and I sadly can't claim that I've grown attached to any of them that much. But I can say that at this point. This is the the record I've probably grown attached to the most, even though I don't know how much more I'm going to be growing attached to it, if that means much. I guess the part of it is I'm going to, I might be going, they're playing three shows at Orchestra Hall in about, you know, the end of March, early April. Uh, one or two of them are sold out, but I may still try to get a ticket for one of them. Seeing that show might sort of reinvigorate my kind of interest to listen to the record, too. Listen to their music as a whole. I haven't listened to the Cloud Cult regularly in many years. I'll listen to a song or two here once in a while, go on to Spotify or um, pull out one of my CDs. But um, wow, a few years ago when this came out, I was like totally in a Cloud Cult um, binge. Um, but I, yeah, I think I think I, I like this record. Um, the style is a little less addictive, I guess you could say. But you know, One Way Out of a Hole is a very much of a, a classic, like staple song i could see them playing that for the rest of their career live frequently um it goes in there i should do i'll maybe that's what i'll do maybe i'll try i won't do an album well maybe i'll do an album breakdown like i've done with them eventually i don't know maybe by the end of the year or early next year but maybe instead i'll just try to make like a list of songs one way out of the hole i would say already is at least a top 25 song for them maybe a top 20 even um so I'll do that, and that would be maybe at some point, and, and f feel my assessment of where this goes. I mean, there's more records, obviously, coming on that I've talked about, but, um, yeah, and I mean, I'm, I'm a fanboy to an extent, so, I mean, I'm I'm going to like their average record over someone else's average record anyway, but I wouldn't call this record average. I would just call it um, good, you know? It was a long wait, six years, and they've had a lot of other stuff they've done, you know, and for various reasons why it was six years, because they've been pretty prolific, Oh, since they started twenty about a little over twenty years ago, but um, yeah, no one way, uh, one way out of a hole. Um, uh, Metamorphosis by Cloud Cult is a good record. Um, do I expect it to be my album of the year? Um, well, based on last year, I guess I wouldn't be. I would say it would be impossible. But at this point, eh, we'll see what happens. I guess. Um, but um, I was going to mention. I'm just going to make another video about a few other things in a minute, but. What's your take on the Cloud Cult album, Metamorphosis, if you've heard it? Uh, what about that song, One Way Out of a Hole, have you heard? Um, you know, like I said, I asked on the last video, have you heard it? Otherwise, I'll, I'll, I'll leave a Spotify link, assuming Spotify is up, it was down earlier today, uh, to check it out if you want to. So thank you for watching, we'll see you next time.